Freakers ball time, y'all. <laughs> How y'all doing? This is Grimner. Uh, Moose Girl will be along shortly, I would assume, uh, as she typically is. Anyway, welcome to the show. This is the Freakers Ball. It's Friday night, May 22nd, 2020. And we're here. We're live on reallibertymedia.com on the Freakers Ball show page. Also on Vaughn.live slash Real Liberty Media. That's the video stream. The audio stream can be picked up at reallibertymedia.com or on rlmradio.xyz. And also over there on realliberty.org. Oh, we're, we're in places. We're in places. And tune in as well. Moose Girl? Yes? Howdy. How are you? Howdy. How, how are you this evening? I'm fine. How are you? I'm good too. Yeah, I'm good. Good. Yeah, so. I mean, I other know. than the. Hello? Hello? Did I lose you? What happened? I don't know what happened. Oh. Hello? Okay, yeah, Hello? well, I'm here. Can you hear me now? Yeah, I hear you fine. Great. <laughs> Other than the fact that I'm supposed to be in a music festival this weekend, normally, it's yeah. Disney kind of normalcy going on, but it's not, so I'm not there. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, this weekend is what they call Memorial Day weekend. Yep. Right? Because Monday is Memorial Day, and that's typically the uh, unofficial kickoff of summer, the beginning of summer. Right, right. But for me, all of my years growing up uh, through my teens and young, uh-huh. young, younger years, Memorial Day weekend uh, Memorial Day weekend meant one thing to me. What? The Indianapolis 500. Aha. Uh-huh. However, not this year. Not this year. Um, they have, they have moved that, and I, and I was, I was going to save this for a little later, but, uh, what the hell, we'll tell, we'll talk about it yeah. now. Uh, the Indy 500 has been moved to August 23rd, okay. postponed until August 23rd, which is kind of cool. I mean, my birthday is August 24, so it's that's like, cool. you know, that, that's all right. But every year, I mean, since, since I have existed on this planet in this, in this human form, Mm-hmm. It was always Memorial Day. Right. All, always freaking Memorial Day. 60 years of that. And and before I was born as well. I mean, you know, of course. But Right, right. <laughs> um, <laughs> but but for what? And, uh, there's cars racing around a track. And, and I know. I know. They, they talk about the fact that this is the or one of the world's biggest single sporting event, single-day single sporting it event. It is. It's huge. With an estimated 350,000 <laughs> people in attendance. Now, of right. course, they could have went out and raced without any people there, but how stupid is it that people are not allowed to be out there in the right. first place? Or, not the same thing. Or, or anywhere else, for that matter. Um, you know, this whole stupid-ass thing. Yeah, I was sitting on my, on my potty. Pretended to drive. Room, room. <laughs> no, man. I, 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 I was I was a huge Indianapolis 500 fan. Uh, I, 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 Have you been there before? No, I've never been there. I just love the race. I mean, I've been there, but not to the race. But I've been to the race track. Yeah, yeah. The old brickyard. It's pretty cool. Yeah. But, yeah. But, you know, I, I was uh, like, a, you know, I had like a big scrapbook of all the races throughout the years that I made. Oh, cool. From, you know, like newspaper, it was newspaper clippings back then. You didn't, you didn't have. Right. Interwebs. <laughs> no, we did not have that. <laughs> I still remember that book. It was kind of like a beige with these little gold stripes on it. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, Donna, Donna lived two blocks from it. And she was in the parade. All right. That's awesome, Donna. Cool, Donna. Look at you. Look at you. So wow. a- anyway, wow. I-, I mean, to me, this is this is like it's such a stupid thing. Uh, but but this is about you know it's it's huge for the something of of 
uh, that's been around that long. Um, that, right. That gathers that much, you know, that it's... Well, same with the Minnesota State Fair. That's like the third largest state <sighs> fair in the country. And it's yeah, canceled. yeah. It's a fair. Fairs move around. I know. Though. That's true. But, fair. you know... <laughs> no, the no, Minnesota, I, Minnesota State Fair is huge, dude. It's oh, huge. I, I'm sure it is. I'm sure it is. You know, I mean, the way not as huge as the Indy 500, obviously, but no. you know, I yeah. mean, for Minnesotans and crap, it is. You know. Yeah, well, I'm sure, like you know, the uh, uh, the San Diego County Fair, which is at Del Mar uh, Racetrack down there, or mm-hmm. at the fairgrounds. Um, I'm sure that's not going on either. Right. I, I think all that stuff's going to be canceled. Yeah. Yeah. You know. And and it's, for what know, for what it's in on the side of caution, Grim. It's for the side of idiocy. On the side, it's for on, your own good. On the side of idiocy. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I, I, I mean, okay. Uh, well, we'll get into all the Corona crap later, but it's nonsense. It's absolutely not. You only hear me. Oh no! What the hell? I'm what? not muted. I'm not muted. I, You're what's here. Going on? What? Why? Why? Hang why on, is there problems? Why is there a problem? I, I see you on my screen. Was something here. I said? <laughs> oh, hello. Uh, let hello. me check. Let me check. Oh, you're not coming up on my uh, on oh, my no. video what the on hell? my video. Why? You're why? not showing up on my video streamer. Let me. Uh, I'm gonna why? stop. I'm, I'm gonna stop the video streamer. Oops. All right. And um and and then and then I'll restart it. Can you hear me? Yeah, talk. Oh, you can hear me. Yeah, you should be on the audio stream, too. Um, talk okay. now. Okay. Okay, there you are. Hello? Yeah, there oh. you are. Okay, All let right. me just start the stream back up. I, I don't know what happened. Something on the OBS. All right, all right. it happens. <laughs> little, it always happens to us. Right? A, 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 a little oh, OBS right. issue there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, Great. well, that, awesome. it was, uh, the audio stream it was on, but the video stream it wasn't testing, on. Testing, testing. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so, so now you're back. Okay. Yeah, you're, you're there now. Uh, okay, good. Uh, on the audio. Right. <laughs> on video, good. I mean. Good. Oh, God. Okay. At, least, at least according to my broadcaster, you are. I hope so. All right. <laughs> <sighs> anyway. Uh, yeah, we had them all on Iggy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Oh my gosh! Who knows? Whatever. I right. I got I got so many softwares running, you know. Um, uh, right. It, yeah. it's, it's hard to keep track. Could, one uh, of many things can have a glitch or a blip or something. And yeah. Then, uh, yeah. Audacity was seeing you. Butt was seeing you. But for for whatever reason, uh, OBS was not. So. Huh. Okay. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. we're back now. Yep. Yep. All, All good. Right. <laughs> All right then. Oh. All right. I tell you, it's just, uh, I don't know. I was watching this thing on Michigan the other day, yeah. Friday. Okay. That's today. And today was Friday. No, which one was it then? It was yesterday. Oh, okay. Thursday. Sorry. All right. Yesterday, it was weird. Cause yesterday, I thought it was Friday all day. And I'm like, it's not a Friday, it's Thursday. So I'm all screwed up. But anyway, um... They were doing this rally at the Capitol with the barber, a bunch of barbers giving haircuts to people because people need haircuts. They have been going months without a haircut, right? Right. And they've been letting, they, so they did this rally or whatever to give people haircuts. Yeah. And there's a 77 year old barber that they gave him several fines because he would not stop cutting people's hair. Right. Well, he he'll end up winning because it's unconstitutional what they were doing. Exactly. To give these signs out and crap. Absolutely. They don't care. They and, don't care about no right. constitution. I mean, and we're talking a thousand dollar fine each one. Yeah. So I was like, yeah, man, keep you know, and some of the comments people were saying to these cops that were there were awesome. They were just getting right in their face and saying, you ought to be ashamed of yourself, blah, 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 you, you know, blah, blah, blah. This is unconstitutional, you know, everything they're supposed to be saying, basically. Right. And, you know, the cops just stand there unflinch, unflinching and just act like they don't hear it, right? Yeah. But um, it was really cool to see that because I, um, well, there it is. There it is, Kate. Thank you for looking that up. 
There's right. a story in this guy, this barber. Well, I, 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 I hope. I, mean, I hope that none of I hope that none of the money from that GoFundMe for him goes to any governmental organization whatsoever, because they should. That, that I mean, the thing to do is to have that, all that crap overturned, and then um, him to you know just be be off scot free because he should be. Right. Right. Yeah. I mean. Uh, um, I mean, I'm good. glad. It's, Look at how much money has been raised. Well, it's it's good that people are doing this, and I you know I'm glad that there's support out there for them. But uh, uh, the thing is, if any of that money goes to government, then it's it's super, uh, seventy grand, right? right? So, so but I, I I think the point is though is I don't think any of those barbers and haircutters are going to get uh, they're going to pay them. Everyone in the chat was saying, because there was a chat room going to, yeah. they were saying, don't pay them fines. Those are junk. Those are bogus fines. Those are bogus charges, right. bogus tickets. Yep. Those have no validity at all. Exactly. And you can win in a court in any courtroom because you have the cop. I mean, supposedly, okay, I get it. People think the Constitution still exists in its original form. It doesn't <laughs> exist in its original form, okay? Well, the paper may be it, out it there doesn't. somewhere. It doesn't. That, right. that that piece of paper may be out there somewhere. Right, but <laughs> as far as them following it, yeah. oh no 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 not even close. No, and now since they went or well, when they did the lockdown thing, which was actually unconstitutional. <laughs> yeah, all of its things, every, right? every um, part of it. They they were violating it, but I think it, in some ways it's good for the people that are starting to wake up, starting to pay attention, starting to say, hey, this is fucking bullshit. Um, it's good that people are recognizing that, I guess. Yeah. It's a start. It's something. It's a start. Um, right. You know? Yeah. So, it's just, they were, it was, that rally was awesome. I mean, I just ignore all the pro-Trump stuff because, that's not how I look at it. Okay, oh, I, I know. It, you know it's it's stupid. Yeah. People want to say, uh, you know, if you're if you're for ending the lockdown, you're a trumper. And it's like what? <laughs> yeah, no. It's like I do not put me with that group because that is definitely not the group I'm in. So so basically, they're saying if you're pro freedom, you're for Trump, and if you're anti freedom. You're a Democrat. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, that's how a lot of people are. Well, I mean, that, that's, what, that's yeah. the way I read it. That's the way I see it. Um, right. <laughs> it's, it's like, uh, this is insanity. Why Why would, I mean, just because you're an idiot that votes or that, <laughs> for whatever side, why would you be against freedom? Right. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. Yeah. But they were playing uh, Born in the USA and we're not going to take it anymore. <laughs> They were playing tunes at this event. It was awesome to see how many people out there as there was. Yeah. You yeah. know? And um, it was, the cops, they were definitely outnumbered at, at that event, for sure. Well, they're almost always outnumbered. Right. I mean, and, yeah. um, well, they are in general. They're yeah, right. They are. Like I said, they're almost always outnumbered wherever they are at, wherever they, yes. they go to. But, you know, people right. still, uh, you know. Bow, bend to their will. <laughs> yeah, because they have the bully club. You know, back in the day, it used to be billy clubs and shit. Now it's tasers and fight. You know what I mean? Oh, and they got them high tech sticks now that they hit people. Yeah. With. And then they got the plastic handcuffs that are so popular with them. Yeah. Uh, which are basically zip ties. I mean, yeah, come on. Yeah, cable people ties. Call them plastic handcuffs. They're zip ties, people. Yeah. You know, come on. Yep. Yeah. I mean, uh, it's just. Um, it was cool to see some cops out there standing up and saying, hey, what's going on? It's unconstitutional, you know. Yeah. Um, that was one thing that was kind of interesting, I thought. Um, we're starting to open up here. I mean, as soon as the Supreme Court made that ruling, people are like, hell yeah. Yeah. You know, the movie theaters, theaters aren't open and some bars are not open yet, but that the thing goes, the city, the city thing goes till the 28th. And I, I Red Lobster open, okay? Okay. Come on. If Red Lobster can open, 
That's all I'm saying. Now, are they are they are they, are they open? <laughs> are they are they open as normal? Probably not. They're probably doing the social distancing thing. Like you, you know, you probably have to. I don't know. I don't know what they're doing. I haven't been there. My my friend works there. That's how I know they're open again. But um. Oh, okay. See, I, I missed that that comment by Kate. That fundraiser, that GoFundMe for that barber, was yeah. from before the Operation Haircut thing. That's okay. when, when he reopened his shop originally, whenever okay. that was. So it's probably uh, sometime, sometime before then. So, oh, okay. Yeah. Well, good cool. for him though. I mean, yeah. Either way, man, he's out there. He's he, he's doing he, what he, he feels is right. He takes away people's livelihood, which is cutting hair. People can't cut their own hair. It's a needed thing. Uh, Why was it being done? You know, and then someone else made a point yesterday at the thing. Like, hairstylists, you see how they are. They use the the, uh, disinfectant for the combs. They don't use the same comb on the same person. They don't use the same scissor on the same person. They're already practicing doing as much as they can to prevent the spread of any illness, be it COVID-19 or anything, a cold. Right. I mean, they're already doing that at hair salons. So why was that deemed non-essential? People need fucking haircuts, dude. Yeah, I you guess. Know? They do. Uh, I mean, it's actually, thing. actually, they don't. But you know, they like. Well, them. you know what I mean. I, I mean, you know. <laughs> I mean, I can understand the tattoo parlors being closed. Let your freak flag to, fly. No, I, when I, it I, comes to haircutting, though. I know, I know you guys, all you non-haircut people, okay? That's not who I'm talking to. I'm talking to <laughs> people like my dad that can't cut his own hair. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's just. I know. I they know. already do hygienic things at the hair salons. Yeah, well, I don't I don't understand any of it being closed. Not tattoo right. parlors, not the sex places. What do you call them? Uh, brothels. Massage. <laughs> I don't. I wouldn't close nothing. Nothing. Nothing would be different at all. It's a flu or a virus, whatever the hell you want to call right. it. If it even exists, uh, so what? So people go out there and opium houses. Yeah, leave them open too. Well, there was strip, a freaking pandemic in 1976, supposedly. Yeah, it's nothing closed. Flu. Nothing closed. They didn't close down the freaking country. Nothing closed. No, nope. everything was Nothing normal. Nothing closed. And they did, there was one in 1968 and 1969. Sure. Well, no, there's been plenty. On? There's been a lot of them. There's been a lot Hello? of them. Oh, wake up. It's not about the virus. Nope. Anyway, we'll get back to that. We're going to play some music. All right. Okay. Um. <laughs> oh, my God. I know. It's insane. Um. <laughs> oh, okay. Anyway. All right. Well, you may know you may know at least two of these guys, if not all four. All right. Kenny Wayne Shepherd, you heard of him? Oh yeah. Joe Bonamassa. Oh yeah. Reese Wyans. Mm, not sure. Noah Hunt. Nope. No, Noah Hunt's Kenny Wayne's uh, singer. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> all right, gotcha. <laughs> Right, here you go. This is right. uh, shame, shame, shame. All right then. All right, that was nice stuff there. Trampled uh, by turtles. TBT to the rest of y'all. <laughs> um, yeah, it's called "We All Get Lonely." It's the official quarantine video. Uh, Moose Girl uh, p- uh, requested that one. Uh, before that was uh, Lockdown Godzilla, Blue Oyster Cult, also a quarantine video. And we kicked it off there with Kenny Wayne Shepard, Joe Bonamassa, Reese Winans, Noah Hunt doing a shame, shame, shame. So, uh, yeah, good stuff, good stuff. Don't you say moose? Moose, 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 moose. Where'd the moose go? We lost the moose. Hello, moose girl. <laughs> Hello. There you are. So, uh, what, what do you think? They uh, traveled by turtles there. That was good. I liked it. Yeah. Yeah, awesome. Official quarantine video. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right on. So, uh, boy. Yeah. <sighs> <sighs> oh, yeah. I know, I know. So, um, normally at this point in time, I'd be asking, uh, you know, what your plans are for the weekend, what kind of concerts are coming up, uh, 
Yeah. When, when, are you going to be here next week? <laughs> Normally, I wouldn't be here this weekend. Yeah. yeah I'd be is, in Harmony Park. Right. This is uh, 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 Blue Ox? No, Revival. Revival, okay. Yep, I would be there normally. <laughs> yeah. Not this year. And it's canceled till next year now. They rescheduled it at first till July, then they just canceled it all together. Yeah, well, I mean, it's uh, unsure. You know, right. You can't really have no. these venues uh, all reserved and such. Uh, on, you exactly. Know, with, with, and there's, it, I mean, it takes a lot of prep work to put one of these things on. Yeah. yeah. You don't want to put all the work into it and have to cancel it. Exactly. You know, I'm pretty sure Blue Ox will be canceled. I don't take my word on that, people. Just, no, don't, don't. Um. Anyway, it, it's it's just weird. It's it's just such a weird thing. This whole thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, like we were saying before, there's there has been other pandemics, and they didn't they didn't shut down the whole entire country. You know. Never. Um, yeah, they never have. Never. It's the first time. Right. So what the hell? What the hell? Uh, exactly. <sighs> yeah. See no. what I have here. Uh, well, I was to uh, ask you. Did you hear about the thing today? I guess uh, Biden was being interviewed. Joe Biden, the crazy Joe. Was, yeah. Was being was be, was being interviewed by uh, somebody. Uh, I some, did some black yeah, a little bit. Yep. So some black uh, radio show, um, and, and he and he said. If you don't vote for me, then you're not black. <laughs> well, what? that that's what he said. That's what he told the guy. If you don't vote for me, then you're not black. On the radio. He said he it on out the radio. To lunch. Yeah, he is out to lunch, people. Okay, okay, well, that's not the only crazy thing he said today. <laughs> okay. He also said, if you don't let me sniff your hair, you ain't a woman. He didn't say that. He did. He did. Washington, Washington what? D.C. No, and a, no, no, no. Really? And in a, a recent interview with a female representative of the segment of human speech, species identified as female, Biden made a strong case for why all women everywhere should vote for him without question, or at least let him sniff their hair. Says, look, he had to been joking around. With look, him. look, look. The thing... Yeah, you know what it is, Biden said. The women folk know what what's at stake in this election. It's a hairy simple, not very simple. Hairy <laughs> simple. Just, 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 it's just the devil on beer, the onion. <laughs> You're gonna ruin my thing here. <laughs> yeah, it's the bee. Um, <laughs> I have to do it. I have bee. to call it out. It's the bee. All right. The, yeah. the, the, you've the, you've tricked me way too many times. <laughs> And yeah. but you know what? No, this is not real. This hey, is not real. Anyway, he goes on and he says the women folk know what's at stake in this election. It's hairy simple. <laughs> just, just let just let me vote on you or you vote. They had for... me going and tell that part. When they, it's hairy simple. Okay, now I know to say it right. But, uh, but would you be surprised if he actually said that? No, at this point no I would not. Yeah, no. okay. So it says uh, so yeah, it says the, the, the uh, you vote up for me. The vote b b blonde applesauce baloney, simple choice. If you don't let me smell your hair, you ain't a woman. Biden then <laughs> sat back in his chair with a smile, having totally nailed another interview. <laughs> oh, it's, you got the joke. You can read the rest yourself. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, Oh a, my God. I, I'm telling you, the, the the B is more accurate than any of the of the clap outlets out there, um, and and I I would definitely believe them uh, be, be, before I believed anything off of CNN or uh, MSNBC or ABC or CBS, right? Or or, or what oh yeah. <laughs> Um, oh, God. Anyway, I don't know if you saw this one, Grim. All right, show, show me. This caught my interest this week, and I, I don't know why. Normally, I mean, I like this kind of stuff, but it's not, like, high on my priority list. But I don't know, I try to pay attention to some of the stuff, the UFO stuff, oh, okay. alien stuff. Um, don't know if you saw this one. All right. This is from June. What? How can this be June 3rd, 2020? 
uh, future. How can the date on this article be June 3rd, 2020? It's a, it's a UFO story. It comes from the future. I, I don't know. Get short URL. Hang on. Let me just click. <laughs> I mean, okay, I didn't notice that until now, obviously. Uh, uh, all right, all right. Don't expect that, you know. Yeah. Okay, that's really weird. They messed up, that's all. Whatever. The whoever no, who... okay. I, you know what it is, Graham? I have figured it out. It's a European date. Oh, oh, so it's, it's March From 6th. 3 6 2020. Mar- Mar- March 6th, okay. March 6th, 2020. Sputniknews.com. Yeah. A UFO bigger than Earth flying past the sun spotted by NASA observation mission. Oh, okay. Um, they spotted a gigantic UFO flying past the sun. The incident itself occurred on 29th February, but the footage of it was posted just recently on the channel Hidden Underbelly 2.0, dedicated to mysterious events and sightings. Anyway, um, you got to watch the video. Like, it's pretty bizarre. I mean, uh, let's see. Yep, it is UK style, right, Kate? It's the date. That's, it threw me at first. I'm like, 6-3-2020. How could that be? <laughs> Anyway, it's, it shows an Ezekiel's wheel type of UFO, they're calling it. An Ezekiel's wheel. Do you know what that is? I have no idea. I hadn't heard that term either before. So I'm like, okay, what does that Bigger mean? Bigger than Mercury, Venus, and the Earth. Uh, may, may, maybe that's Nibiru. I don't know. It's pretty, if you look at the video and you put it into perspective of how far away you are, it is. Uh-huh. It's big. It's bigger than the the planets that it goes. Some of the planets it goes past. Okay. It's it's uh really interesting. All right, it's as big as Mercury, Venus, and the Earth. It's yeah. Like, it doesn't look like our space station. No way. It doesn't look like satellite that I've seen. Well, that'd be a big satellite. Uh, to be honest, when I first saw the footage, it was equals wheel. Huh. All right, circle. A circle with, with the cross in it. All right. The, it refers to the book of Ezekiel, where the prophet spoke about a flying chariot, which he described as a wheel in the middle of a wheel. Okay. They have not issued a re- NASA has not issued a response to the issue. Of course not. Who cares about NASA? Yeah. <laughs> <Screw that. laughs> No, thanks, Kate. I mean, it threw me. I see six because Americans are we we put the month first, you know. Yeah, I, well, I, put, Brits, I, put, I put the day for the day first. I, I put the year first, but you know. You do? Yeah, yeah. Like today is twenty twenty zero five twenty two, and I always use a uh, two digit oh. month, two digit oh, okay. month. Okay. Yeah. That's how I keep things yeah. in order. That's how. That's how uh-huh. I. Proper sorting requires that date format. <laughs> okay. Year, month, day. <laughs> oh, okay. I see. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. All right. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, it's just um, I cut my bangs this, today, this week, yesterday. Cool. It turned out good. You got. You I got was it. like, okay, this can go one or two ways. It can go good. It can go bad. You, you, you got. Know? You got. Yeah, you it got, was good. So, did, you, did you get a photo? No, I didn't. I didn't do before and after. I didn't do any no, of that okay, shit. Okay. I just fucking went for it. I said, I got to do this. I got to do it now. And I did it, and it worked out good. Yeah, okay. Well, I've done it before. So, I, you know, the first couple of times I did it, uh, it was pretty bad. But then now I've gotten better. I, I've learned the technique. You just need to get the proper size bowl. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Anyway, Kate says that she uh, she dates her digital files that way, but not anywhere else. I do it. Oh. I do it that way unless uh, the format is laid out where you have to do it uh, mm-hmm. day, month, year. Um, uh, it, it's like some websites require you to do, you know, what day, month, year kind of setup. But uh, okay. Yeah. But uh, if I if I can and uh, wherever I can write it physically, I'll, I'll put it in the right way or my way. So I. I, I posted a link in your PM. Um, oh. I think if you can just throw it in before the break, that would be good. Like before the music. All right. 
if that's possible. And it's only a minute 46. Oh, already? But they're talking about reopening the schools, and they have to have all these rules in place. It's kind of like, why even have them go to school anymore? You know, just exactly. do it all online. Yeah, just do it from home. Just you know, from- why have them go to the building if you're so worried about the virus and shit? Yeah, just get rid of those buildings. We don't need those buildings. Right. Just have them do online. Yeah. If, you know, if you're not going to let them talk to their friends, you're not going to let them all eat together in the cafeteria. You're not, you know, you got all these stupid rules. These draconian fucking rules. Right. It, it's more like a prison. I mean, we've, we've talked about that all, for 11 years, how schools are like prisons, basically. Yeah. Um, and it, it, you're making it even more so. It's oh. like, at least if they're at home, they can be online. I mean, I get it. There's some people that their kids are little. They have to work. They they can't homeschool. They can't, you know, the kid can't be home alone yet. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it, it does throw us a lot of wrenches into the problem, but. Well, you, know, then you get some, you know, group, local. Get a group, right, or yeah. something, yeah. you know, because to send them to the school the way they want it, the kids to be at school, it's draconian, okay? It's ridiculous. It's 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 so it's it's like going to prison. It is. It's exactly yeah. like that. Yeah. Being told what to do, where to stand, blah blah blah. You know, I mean, come on, that's yeah. not education. No, some, that's indoctrination. Well, well that, that's a this is this is how you need to act when when you're thrown in prison because you probably a good per- percentage of you are gonna be. Right. They just <laughs> yeah, they look upon you as a criminal already. You you committed no crime. You are a criminal to them. Yeah, I, that's how they think of you. Uh, they, ro- they, they don't care about you. They they they, 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 they do yeah. not. They do not. Uh, Rome's Rome's just dumped a headline there into the chat. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, it says, "Has NASA found a parallel universe where time flows backwards?" I, I read wow. that. I read that um, earlier this week. It might have not have been on Forbes. It might have been somewhere else. But um, uh, then the way they're talking about it is. Uh, like there's one other parallel universe that's just like what? Right. That's good. Okay. So if NASA found it, I don't believe it in the first place. But um, <laughs> because it's NASA, and NASA stands for what? Never. Nazi. A, never a straight answer. <laughs> that's a good one. I like that one. Yeah. Uh, so um, yeah, and there's there's um, infinite parallel universes. Uh, in uh, at least several series, uh, and and you know it's all digital anyway, so uh, th- there's no reason not to have infinite parallel universes. Um, and and right. w- whether or not uh, this universe branches off every time somebody makes a decision, I mean, just think of how many people are out there right now making decisions. That's right. You know. <laughs> <laughs> all right, now I'm going to read a headline to you. All right, cool. And you tell me what you think about it. Got it. At least 80 million infants could be at risk of various diseases as coronavirus outbreak disrupts routine vaccination. Uh, not. No, disagree. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking... That's a, such a great thing that you're not poisoning these kids as their yes. infants. It's just a wonderful thing. Anyway, the key yeah, point, the, the key points from this post, according to uh, CNBC.com, mm-hmm. at least 80 million children under a year old could be at risk of diseases such as diphtheria, measles, and polio as COVID-19 disrupts routine immun- immunization across the globe, according to data released by global health experts. Uh, more than half of the 129 countries reporting data to the World Health Organization, <laughs> UNICEF, uh, Gavi, I'm not sure what that is. Oh, my God, UNICEF is evil. Yeah. Look it up, you so, believe me. Well, so is the WHO, and so does the CDC. So is the UN. And, and I don't know what Gavi is, but uh, in the... It's sa- bad. Whatever it is, it's bad. The, bad sa- the Sabin Vaccine Institute indicated... Oh, God, they're ch- terrible. They're evil. They, they indicated that childhood immunization services, services they call them, were moderately to severely disrupted. Uh, many countries. Oh have, no! Man, uh, it's just phraseology. Many countries have also suspended 
vaccination campaigns, vaccination campaigns uh, intended to prevent other diseases such as cholera, measles, meningitis, polio, tetanus, typhoid, and yellow fever. I guess that's a good thing. Due right? to the risk of COVID-19 transmission. Now, how are them being vaccinated, which I'm not in favor of them being vaccinated for any of these right. things. Any, any kid, because they're talking about children under a year old. Why are you pumping right. poisons into them? But they, uh, they want them to be sick. They want them to have problems. So you're, you're tied to the medical system. Therefore, you're tied to government. Your hands are tied. You got a sick kid because they made them sick. You can't sue them because they're, they're protected. And now you got a sick kid that fucked up and that causes costs a lot of money a sick kid and a fucked up kid costs a hell of a lot more money than a healthy kid dude that's that it comes down to numbers you are a number you are dollar signs to them your family members your children are dollar signs to them if we make this kid sick you know how much money we're going to make up this kid as opposed to a healthy kid come on people think about it right think about it so i i don't i don't i don't know what i mean uh vaccination campaigns it just sounds i mean that's just so wrong um <laughs> and 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 i don't know and and children that age and you don't uh, the effects of all these various things as they're uh, put it into the little baby's veins um you know, a lot of times the effects don't show up right away oh, sometimes yeah. they do but sometimes they don't and you know you don't you don't know what's wrong with your kid it's scary i mean it's scary to have your child there in a doctor's office and they come along with these vials and these syringes with these shots and you don't know what's in there. No, no. I mean, a lot of people don't well, know, I, I know what's the in doctor, there. The doctors don't even know what's in there. No, they they, they're, they're brainwashed too. They're told, oh, this is the greatest thing. And, you know, you get kickbacks the more of these you get, give out. Right. It's fucking damn, you guys. I mean, it doesn't take a, a, a brainiac to figure this out. I mean, most of the things that you, that we talk about, like vaccines and stuff like that, if you follow the money, okay, who funds this crap? That's what you need to be looking at. Right, exactly. You need to be finding out who the fuck these motherfuckers are that own these companies and shit. Yeah. Your mind will be blown, Okay. Oh yeah, absolutely. You're, if you're willing to be open-minded enough to learn what's really going on, if not, you, 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 I don't know what to say to you. you. Just keep eating the fucking government cheese. That's all I got to say. <laughs> keep eating that up, Blake. All right. <laughs> what do you do? To what? stay overnight? Uh, I don't know. I'm just going to. Hang on a sec. Okay. I mean, Grim. Ty <laughs> one. I want you to go over there. Okay, well, just start safe. All right. Let me know if you're going to stay there or come back. All right. Okay. Sorry, you're over the room. That's, that's all right. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to share with you this little video here. Okay. <laughs> Do you see, you see what's on the screen? Hey, hang on. Let me get to that. Oh, my God. I wasn't on the page. Okay. Yes, I do. Okay. Okay. You got a bunch of people sitting. <laughs> on, a, on a lawn inside of circles. Right. Okay, that's here. Looking into where this idea came from and how people are reacting. Jana. Julie, the Parks Department knew that with the warmer weather coming and Memorial Day weekend, people are going to want to go outside. So that's why they're launching this new pilot program to see if it works. Take a walk in the park and you might see one of these white circles in the grass. We just saw them today. We didn't actually notice them until we walked back. The new white markings at the Little Marina are spaced six feet apart. More are being drawn up at other popular city parks, such as Washington Park in North Beach and Dolores Park in the city's Mission District. I just saw this today. My friend sent me a picture of what it was looking like out here, and I thought it was pretty smart to put circles. This man says the circles encouraged him it was safe to socialize outside. I don't really leave the house, so this is one of the few times I left, and it's because of these circles, to be honest. So. Some were skeptical about the park's human parking spots. When I first saw it on the news and on Facebook, I thought it was a little far-fetched. 
But then they said they found they liked the markings, took the guesswork out of social distancing. I feel people were trying to do their best at social distance, but at the same time, it wasn't six feet apart. And these are blatantly obvious that it's six feet apart. These social circles, a relief, some say, after past weekends with big crowds. Here it's like super clear, like where your boundaries are, you set your stuff down. So, I mean, I think that this is definitely more like organized and relaxed, actually, than it was on Saturday. So, yeah, I like it. San Francisco decided to try it after talking to New York City, where officials tried it in Brooklyn's Domino Park. And we also wanted to put it kind of in four separate corners of the city because this was a, pro a pilot program, and we wanted to see how it would work out for Memorial Day weekend. And it essentially takes no additional funds. The department is chalking up the cost to work normally done marking city sports fields. They hope it will be another reminder for people to stay safe during this coronavirus pandemic. The pandemic the pandemic has really showed that parks aren't nice to have, they're, they're a must have. Um, they are a critical part of our infrastructure and they are what's keeping people um, healthy and sane. We want to keep all of our parks open. We want people to have a good time in them. Um, so <laughs> that means using them safely. Tomorrow, the Parks Department plans to put more circles at a fourth park at the Jackson Playground Picnic Area at 17th and Arkansas Streets. And, Julie, they say that they might consider actually expanding this program if it proves to be popular to other parks in the city. Yeah, such a simple idea, and it seems to really make sense. You don't have to question where you can go. It's right there on the ground. Gianna, thank you. Stay in your circle, slave! <laughs> Holy hell! And wow! Pe and people are people are. Oh, what a wonderful idea to give me a little circle. I, I'm, I'm, I, 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 I know where my boundaries are. I don't, I don't oh wander God. freely. Uh, what is wrong with people? Uh, so, uh, a any, anyway, they're they're calling these uh, human parking spaces. Human oh, wow. parking spaces. Uh, so, uh, I, I, I just saw. I was like flabbergasted um, that people <laughs> I, I mean the, the reactions I the, know, the, I know. The, these people they're they're just okay with it oh you've given me my boundaries I know where I can sit or <laughs> I mean, yeah and, and we're gonna socialize you just gotta yell 12 feet across hey you over there <laughs> yeah you're a nice looking girl I I'd, I'd, I'd ask you to go out but you know, there's no place open. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> it's, it's freaky. It's freaky. It is. It's crazy, dude. But, but, I, it's, and, yeah. and, you know, I don't know. Maybe there was there was probably a bunch of people that were saying, oh, it's bullshit, but they didn't put them on the TV, of course. No, they didn't. Yeah. So, <laughs> They're not going to put those on there. No, no, no. They, they only that put... That goes against the agenda, dude. Yeah, boy. Uh, Hello, you can't go wow. against the agenda. Just, You're not just, mainstream media. It's just freaking wow. Your um, local news station. I, I don't even get it. Oh my god, I know, I know. Now, it's not. Now, I, I, as you well know, am no fan of the Trump face, the bad orange man. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> However, I, I do have to give him props. Oh. And whether he's this is his own idea or it's been fed to him like everything else, I don't know. But according to this article on WTHR.com, uh, Trump said on a possible second wave of COVID, we're not closing our country. Okay. So, hooray. Dude, but he lies, you know. I know he lies, and he changes his mind, and he never, he lies. and he never said that, and I don't know where that right. came. I've never I met that. I've never met that, that. I've oh, never yeah. met that person. Just, we thought differently because there was a decrease in the. Uh, that, well, whatever, that. whatever. This right. is a good thing if it's this is actual that they're not gonna do this bullshit again. Um, if it's actual, you if that, they, Grim? if they, what. You believe that? No, but if they, <laughs> okay. if they do it, if they ever actually reopen shit like it used to be, uh, then they're not going to close it down. But again, are they ever actually going to reopen shit like it used right. to be? Right. 
probably That's the question. yeah, probably not. At least not in most places. At least not in these uh, places like where I live, New Mexico. Uh, anyway, so this is talking about Trump w went to a Ford factory in Michigan uh, yesterday that was making ventilators. During the walkthrough, uh, Trump was asked about a possible second wave. Uh, he said, people say that, is, that that's a very distinct possibility. It's standard, and we're uh, going to put out the fires. We're not going to close the country. So I, I got I to gotta give him props. Uh, whether he actually stands behind this, or me <laughs> just getting the idea out there that this is it, that it's over. You should put some kind of flag or marker on this so you can be notified if, all, if it happens. Well, you'll remember. Yeah, I'll, I'll remember. You'll I mean, remember. It's, it's, it's not very often I give that guy props of any right. kind. But, uh, I mean, on this, uh, you know, I sincerely hope that they <laughs> yeah. open everything back to where it was. None of these stupid ass masks and six feet, whatever. Oh, it's ridiculous. Get rid of all that stuff. Go back to where it was. Uh, and, you know, sorry for all the businesses that went bankrupt because of this nonsense. Yeah. Uh, but um, maybe some of them will reopen. They were, uh, you know, entrepreneurs, yeah. uh, good people that, that meant to what do stuff. What is interesting so, to uh, me is in, Wisconsin, in the case of Wisconsin where I live. It was challenged in the Supreme Court, and I listened to some of Hal's stuff about this last week, and I, I get you, Hal. I get it. I get what you're saying, buddy. I do. I really do. <laughs> anyway, um, it was interesting to me, though, that people were just sitting around waiting for that, you know, when they didn't really have to be. Yeah. So it was more sheeple mentality because they're like, well... Okay, they they complied. They went along with it when the governor issued it, the first one, right, till April twenty fourth. Right. And then the non elected official, the health de head of the health department for the state or whatever, said, "Oh, we're we're going to have to extend this until May twenty sixth, twenty fourth, or whatever it was." Yeah, they keep and, on stretching it out. Two weeks, two weeks, two weeks. Right, and that is what put it over the put people over the edge. They're like, okay. Enough. Well, someone, and I don't know who, Hal, excuse my, you know, ignorance on it. I don't know who or what group or what person or individuals uh, challenged it, but yeah. it got sent, it got in front of the Supreme Court, and they, they deemed it, they ruled, they shut it down, basically. Yeah, yeah. So as soon as that happened... It seems like everybody just said, okay, it's fine now. Supreme Court cleared us. We're good to go. Well, that's for your first. You know, for, they were waiting for that. See, when you – you really didn't have to be, but you can you can see how the fear factor and everything affected it. Everybody just complied with it at first. Right. But then I think as it went on, people were like, okay, this is ridiculous. Yeah, but that, that's just for Wisconsin. You know, that's just for Wisconsin. That was what? Just for Wisconsin. Right, exactly. Yeah. And so, and I think in Michigan, isn't there still a lockdown or was that lifted? Uh, I'm pretty sure it's still there. Yeah. Um, In Michigan, right? Yeah. So these people, okay, so the only people they were fighting yesterday at the Michigan thing was the, um, the hair cutters themselves. Right. So if there's a lockdown, and, and obviously the cops even weren't, they had masks on, but they weren't doing social distancing. They were standing like shoulder to shoulder. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, they got the, like, they got and the, the other people all, you know, they, they were leaving all the protesters, the pe the hair cutties the, alone. They were just see, going after the hair cutters. Right. <laughs> see, see, the cops, the, cop, the cops don't have to worry because they have the special protective badge that shields them from any bad stuff. Okay. That shiny little piece of tin that they that they wear on their on their goofy costume that uh, that protects them from everything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So I don't know. You know I don't know. But here in New Mexico, the uh, the, the stupid governor comes out every cup every week or something. Oh, I'll give you a here's a here's a crumb. This, you can do this now. You can you can have a little this tiny thing, but nothing else. 
Nothing else. Right. It's like, so, I mean, but hell, I mean, do you understand what I'm saying, Hal? Like, there's still wait for permission. And I know, I know this goes against what you, you're talk, you talk about all the time. And I also know that the people that clamored at the, at the Capitol and that wanted to get on the floor, if they didn't have a piece of paper or whatever, if they didn't have their demands, you know, and bullet points or whatever, then it was futile. Right. Because you can't just go up there and get in there, and then once you're in there, what do you do then? Oh, there's nobody Who's else in there. Who's your spokesperson? Who's your, where's your list of demands? Well, whatever, whatever. Where's your, you know, your, 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 where's your proof that this is all bullshit? Well, whatever. You know? the, the, they weren't in session anyway, so it didn't matter. Right. It was moot. <laughs> it was ridiculous. It, I agree, Hal. It was ridiculous. It wasn't like, but I, mean, it was. I was kind of proud of them that they went in the building. But besides that, you're right. They didn't do shit. Yeah. I mean, it made for good TV, I guess. Um. Yeah. You know, it was all a show. <laughs> All right, we're going to do some more music here. Okay, uh, let's do that. We'll be back right. talking about more of this crap over. Yes, we will. Oh, wait a second. I got that right. Okay. And everything right. else going along with it and all this other bullshit that's going on and all, you know, you know how it goes. You know. You know. Yeah. All right. That was, did you, are you going to do the fourth grader, Grim? Yeah, yeah. I, she's okay, okay, good. Yeah, okay. So this is, just watch this. This is before the music. Enjoy. We'll be back. All right. Okay. So I just read you the guideline from the CDC in when school starts up again. How do you feel? Anyway, we miss you anyway, Ann. We should do this again, right? 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 Right, Roger, right. Fuck me! The killer. <laughs> Where's the killer? Where are you, killer? Oh, you can't find the I switch. Miss you, <laughs> All right, uh, Roger, Roger Waters uh, doing a little quarantine version of Mother there. Awesome, awesome version of it, uh, by the way. Uh, and if you hadn't seen the video, if you, if you weren't watching the video or uh, whatever, if you're listening back uh, later and you're not hearing the actual song, uh, in the part of the song where, where he sings, Mother, should I trust the government? Yeah. Uh, he he, 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 he kind of shakes his head and rolls his eyes and mouths. No fucking way. <laughs> oh, cool. I missed that part. I was distracted. Ah, oh, so great. So that's Roger Waters with Mother. Uh, so uh, before that, for Cowboy Tech, we had Midnight Rider with uh, Vince Gill, Greg Allman, and Zach Brown, and, well, yeah. a bud, bunch of others as well. For the Moose Girl prior to that, John Prine and Let's Talk Dirty in Hawaiian. 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 Hey, yo, you, you're, you're my, my little Wahimi. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and we kicked it off there with uh, a fourth grader talking about going back to school and yeah, not sounding Fucking real. Bullshit. Not no. sounding real happy about the whole situation. She's like, uh, the mom's like, "Do you think you should go back to school? There's any reason for you to go?" And she's like, "No, <laughs> no, <laughs> not if it's gonna be like that." <laughs> you know? No. What, what a hell? smart kid, right? I mean, yeah. you know, maybe her mom coached her. I don't know, but. Maybe, you know what I mean? I thought that was pretty realistic. I oh, mean, yeah, yeah. It was, it was I mean, I think it was good. She sounded sincere. I, I tell yeah, you. it's like I, she I, had tears in her eyes. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, know, it's, it's, yeah. it is a sad situation, so. No uh, socialization whatsoever. No sports. What's the, uh, you know? Yeah, what, what the hell is the point? I mean, if you're going right. to do that, just keep on learning on the computer. Stay at home. Go yeah. out and run outside. In the winter, you can shovel snow for exercise. It's better than having no exercise at all. Freaking nonsense. Like, come on. It's crazy. It's Nazism, it crazy. guys. I swear to God, for lack of a better term, Nazism. I don't think Nazism was this bad. I, I don't know. Real, oh, yeah. It was... Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I wasn't there, but... Yeah, uh, me either, but... I, and this, this, know, shit, this shit's freaking global, so... Um, yeah, oh my... Yeah, yeah that's true. That, that aspect of it is different, Grim. That's for sure. It's It's been a global thing. You know, we we tend to get tunnel vision and just pay attention to what's going on around us, which is a good thing to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But also to see the bigger picture for what it is is a good thing as well. Yeah. It is, it is. Um... Okay, we're going to do a uh, non-corona few articles. Okay. Um, 
Uh, hopefully good for a chuckle. All right. <laughs> no, this first one's not really not really. Is it, is it a satire piece? No, 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 no. Okay, okay. I got, I got, All right. I got three just, things. Just, 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 uh, none of them are satire. Okay. This first one's not really not really humorous in any way. It's just interesting. Um, okay. Uh, and I say non-corona, although uh, don't put it past them to use this as a corona thing. All right. Uh, this right, is, they're pretty much using Corona as for a, like a coverall for everything. Now. Well, th- this would be a, a, some uh, uh, some <laughs> of the, the the 1984 style stuff they could do to you. Um, okay, this is on fanaticalfuturist.com. dot com. The world's smallest computer makes a grain of rice look massive. So okay. <laughs> they've got this. They built this computer now. So. Um, uh, as computing and AI processing gets moved to the edge of the network and into billions of Internet of Things or IoT devices, computers will have to have to get ever smaller. Researchers at the University of Michigan have created the world's smallest computer again after their previous microcomputers called the Micromotes were just two by two by four millimeters in size. Uh, they were that were powered by solar cell batteries uh, were bested by IBM, who built an even smaller microcomputer called a Crypto Anchor uh, in March that measured just an incredible one by one millimeter in size and was smaller than a grain of salt. Needless to say, the development raised a few eyebrows at the university, who felt that they had to fire back and up the ante. After all, it's unclear if the IBM computer even count as an actual microcomputer. The IBM device lost all of its programming and data as soon as it turns off, unlike the Michigan Micro Remote, which retained its programming even though it was externally powered. Uh, It's more of a matter of opinion whether they have the minimum functionality required, said David Blau. I think that's how you say the guy. I think that's how you say his name. It's B L B B L A A U W. Blau. Huh. <laughs> anyway, a professor of electrical and computer engineering at the university who helped the engineer who helped engineer the new microcomputer that is just now uh, is now a tenth of the size of IBM's tiny uh, zero. 0.3 by 0.3 by 0.3 millimeter in size, which makes it even the grain of rice sitting in the photo look like some giant comedy prop. The device was designed to be precision temperature sensor that can report temperatures in clusters of cells uh, with an error of about 0.1 degrees Celsius. So pretty darn accurate. Um, uh, when when we first made our new micro mode system. We actually didn't even know exactly all the things that would be useful for. But once published, we started receiving dozens and dozens of inquiries. Blau said uh, it could, <laughs> it could, for instance, measure the temperature of tumors and conduct other cancer studies, monitor oil reserves, conduct o- audio or visual surveillance. Got that? Conduct audio yeah. or visual surveillance. Or even help uh, tiny snail studies. Okay, as I said, this is not a corona-related article. But you can only imagine, put this into your imagination, of what, Sorry, oh, oh, shit. Of, of what they might do. Sorry. What? What? Sorry, I, I hope you didn't hear that. I started a video accidentally. I didn't oh, no, I didn't hear it. Anyway, oh, just good. Quit. So just throw, throw, uh, put that thought into your mind as to what they might do with computers that small, uh, that 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 also have the capability of of uh, transferring audio and video. Uh, those things, as they're sticking that uh, Corona test down your throat, they could be embedding right. one of these little computers That's right there saying. Yeah. into your throat. So. Uh, Wow. Moose said shit. Oh, no. We're ruined. <laughs> I said, uh-oh. 
You know, that happens. Okay. I'm not I'm not apologizing for that. Sorry. <laughs> I just apologize for not apologizing. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Okay. So um how would you like to go back to nineteen sixty nine around uh August? I would love that. Yeah, wouldn't that be cool? I would, if I would have been like twenty. Well, as so, even as not the age, three e- instead of three years old. Even you know, <laughs> as, as the age you are right now, uh huh. Just travel through time back to then. Uh huh. Would you like that? Yeah. Yeah. You bet. You know it, dude. Okay. <laughs> well, acor- <laughs> according to this article, how many musicians are still alive? According according to this order, Morrison was still alive. Joplin was still alive. Hendrix. Jared was still alive. Hendrix was still alive. Yep. Hello. <laughs> anyway, according according to this article, yeah, we can build a real time machine. Ooh, really? Yeah. Like virtual reality type shit. Well, here it says traveling or a in time. Hologram con- or some crap. Uh, no, no, no. Traveling in time. Traveling in time might sound like a flight of fancy, but some physicists think it might be a really, really be possible. Uh, BBC Horizon looked at some of the most promising ideas for turning this staple of science fiction into reality. Ron Mallet has a dream. He wants to travel in time. So do I. Oh, uh, this isn't mere fantasy. Mallet is a respected professor of physics. I think of myself as being an ordinary person with a passion, and my passion is the possibility of time travel. Professor Mallet wants to build a time machine, or has wanted to build a time machine, for most of his life. His passion, he explains, can be traced to a tragic event early in his life. Ron's father, a heavy smoker, died of a heart attack at age 33. Yeah, I'm thinking that's not from smoking. Uh, when, when Professor Mallet, uh, at 33, come on, uh, he would have had to start, you know, whatever, smoking when he was an infant. Anyway, uh, so when Professor Mallet was just 10 years of age, Ron was devastated when withdrew into his books. A year after that, when he was 11, I came across the book that changed everything for me. That was The Time Machine by H.G. Wells. Um, okay, da 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 Anyway, the cover caught my attention, uh, but it was when I read the inside, and it said, Scientific people know very well that time is just a kind of space, and that we can move forward and backward in time, just as we can in space. When I read that, I said... Whoa! Well, that was H.G. Wells from way back in the 1900s. Whoa! So, so when I read that, I said, this is wonderful. Professor Ballard explains... If I could build a time machine, then I could go back into the past and see my father again, and maybe save his life and change everything. And that's good for you. But uh, just build it. Build it. Anyway, uh, time travel may sound... uh, How did this... Why are they repeating the article here? All right. Albert Einstein thought the the three dimensions of space were linked to time, which serves as a fourth dimension. He called the system space-time. And uh, that's the model of the universe we use today. But Einstein also thought it was possible to fold space-time, creating a shortcut between two distant locations. This phenomenon is called a wormhole, and it can be visualized as a tunnel with two openings, each emerging at different points in space-time. Wormholes might exist naturally, they do, in the cosmos. Indeed, scientists in Russia are trying to use radio telescopes to detect them, detect them, but using wormholes for time travel, uh, not really all that easy or straightforward. Um, <laughs> the, the nearest one could be many light years away. Well, that's until you figure out how to create them here uh, and, or discover where they're actually at because uh, they will be, they are um, around us. Let's just say. Yep. <laughs> and even if you could get to them and then survive the journey through them, which is a, right. a, a big question, there's no guarantee where you'd end up. 
and, and uh, yeah. that, that's another it's another issue. Uh, but right, some exactly. some, phys- some physicists have speculated that we might be able to conjure up bespoke wormholes at some point in the future, though we don't really have any idea how to do that right now. <laughs> physics also <laughs> physics also predicts that wormholes would have the habit of collapsing, crushing what's ever inside them. Which yes, that's true. They um, may undulate a bit and uh, move around, like they'll close up here, switch to a new position, and open there. Uh, so that's uh, just kind of a, a weird theory that I've, I've seen postulated in various places. Mm-hmm. It was a, if if a time machine is ever to exploit them, we'd have to find a way to stop this inconvenient feature. Yeah, you, you don't really want to have it crush you while you're going through it. <laughs> right, right. Anyway, there's more to the article, but uh, uh, I, I find it all very interesting. Um, uh, I, I love the concept, the idea of time travel. And, um, it wouldn't be cool. Uh, or, 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 or even, you know, um, traveling through wormholes from different times in space at the current time. Right. So, uh, yeah, screw NASA. We don't care about NASA. Yeah, we have them. Fuck them. <laughs> Fuck them fuckers. Yeah. Okay. All right. So what you let, got? I got one. Yeah, I got, I got one more. I got one more. Here. All right. Cool. Penguin poo drove us cuckoo. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so a, a, apparently. Uh, penguin poo gives off nitrous oxide or laughing gas. Um, uh, if, there's, if it's there in large quantities, what? What? It, it, I, that's what it says. So, uh, track. penguin crap gives off uh, nitrous oxide. That's hippie crack. Well, oh, hippie crack. Sure, why not? That's what well, we call it. Hippie whip, crack. whip it. We call nitrous hippie crack. Whip it. Yeah, uh, whip it. It's a hippie crack. That's what we call so, uh, nitrous. Yeah, la- la- laughing gas given off by large quantities of bird feces had bizarre effect on Han- on uh, scientists studying in Antarctica. Uh, nitrous oxide around uh, king penguin feces sent Antarctica scientist cuckoo. Uh, <laughs> pr- <laughs> pr- pr- Penguins don't make that sound. Uh, well, that's the word they use. Anyway, I know, uh, I know. Pr- Professor Bull. Hey, I'm just saying. I, I know, I know. Uh, Professor Bo Elbering, or El- Elbering? Elberling, from the University of Copenhagen, made the claims. Uh, he said his team started to feel ill after studying the areas <laughs> around the bird's poo. Uh, oh, great. Uh, research- researchers have been sent cuckoo uh, after spending hours examining the poo. Uh, what, what kind of job is that in the first place? Anyway, um <laughs> the flightless bird's poo reacts yeah, with... Yeah, I'm not signing up for that job anytime soon. Well, we're, we're, the, the bird no. uh, crap acts with the with the soil to produce nitrous oxide, which has a similar effect to laughing gas. It is laughing gas. Um, it is. It's, it's hippie crack. Yeah. Well, a- anyway, so... Uh, laughing gas, right. After, after nosing about in the guano for several hours, one does, uh, one goes completely cuckoo. Uh, one, so one penguin poo to, is called the same as bat poo, then. Guana. I, I guess, I guess. Apparently. Uh, uh, one begins to feel ill and get a headache. Uh, his team have been studying colonies of king penguins on the Atlantic island of South Georgia, uh, between South America and Antarctica. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, he added, he added. How does this even a thing? Why are they even studying penguin poo? What, it, 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 it makes no sense, to. Is this sale on B or something? No, it's Daily it Mail. Is. It's, 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 it's Daily Mail. This, oh, really? Yeah. So he Why? He, <laughs> he added. Another one of those. Okay, well, we're, we're we're getting down to the the the, 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 the we're getting down to the part where. Okay. okay. Where, the nitty gritty. The nitty gritty. Well, their nitty gritty, not my nitty gritty. Okay, yeah, it's not it. yours, of course. He yeah, added I penguin penguin guano produces significantly high levels of nitrous oxide around their colonies. Nitrous oxide is 300 times more polluting to the environment than carbon dioxide. 
<laughs> so kill all the penguins. Didn't they, didn't they say that about cows, like in methane, like a like so, couple so years kill, ago or so, something? So kill all the penguins. So now uh, they're going after penguins. Yeah. What the hell? The, the gas is first created. it was the cows, now it's the penguins. Uh, you know, come on, people. Okay. Come on, really. So apparently, apparently, the gas is created when the penguins' diet of krill and fish. Uh, which contains large I'm sorry, amounts. Penguins are fucking cool, and penguins don't deserve this at all. Large amounts of nitrogen oh, is digested through the feces. Oh. So wait, 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 wait. They, they <laughs> may be going after your krill oil. <laughs> ah, see. Yeah. Uh, so the the emissions measure about a hundred times more uh, than recently fertilized a recently fertilized Danish field. Uh, anyway, whatever. That's enough. But uh, so yeah. they, they're, they're studying. Unbelievable. They're, they're studying. Who comes the, up with this stuff, Grim? What? Who comes up with this stuff? The how, Daily how Mail. Does this happen? The Daily The what? Daily Mail came up. No, with this. who who decides to research penguin poop? I I. I that's not. That's my question. I, don't I, know, I Bill Gates. Story on Daily Mail, but who? <laughs> probably you'd have, who? Yeah, 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 yeah. You'd have to have or WHO, ask, I mean. You'd have to ask Elberling. He's the guy that was doing the study. Okay, uh, there you go. But, We'd have to ask that dude. And, and he was working for uh, what school did he say? University of Copenhagen's Department of Geosciences and Natural Resource Management. Uh huh. So you have to find out who funds them. Right. And it's probably Gates and Soros and the rest of the people right. that want to, you know, right. shut That's shut what down. I said earlier, follow the path. Yeah. Anyway. Why? Why would this be a thing? Why would they even come up with such a thing? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. What the fuck? I don't know. It's gotta be like a cover for something else, don't you think? No, because they wanna they wanna see who what they can blame global warming on. Even, oh, even okay. though even First though the cow, the cow thing didn't work. Even though global warming doesn't exist, they still want to blame it on something. It's kind yeah, of like, so the call it, thing it's just, was just like, a like part in church. It, yeah. it's just like Corona. Even though Corona doesn't exist, yeah. they want they want to blame it on the Chinese. Which, by the way, yep. the uh, we better watch out because I mean it, it looks to me all of these redneck conservative assholes uh, think that with that China needs to be attacked. Uh, over this corona I've nonsense. I've seen that. I heard that. And, and apparently and there's warships now. Have you heard that? Um, we have warships. I had not in heard China that. China Sea but or I, some shit. I, oh, so in the South. Well, the, in the U.S. They've been in the South China Sea for a long time. But, oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that's yeah. not a big deal. Yeah. That's not nothing new right. then. Right. So you had uh, a story? Let's see. Where did it go? I don't know. <laughs> Which way did it go, George? Maybe I didn't. Right. Oh, but I was just going to say, it's really weird because, okay, you know that song, Kung Fu Fighting? Sure. Everybody was Kung Fu Fighting. Is that Carl, that Carl, Doug, Carl Douglas, right? Carl Douglas, right. So, two times now, I have posted that on social media. This uh, week. All right, Kung Fu because, Fighting? Yeah, because one of the questions that a friend of mine posted whose name is Aaron Heaton, and he's actually, he's a musician, he's like a beatboxer and a really funny guy. Um, he, he posted, a, he asked the question, how's everyone's Facebook fighting going? How's everyone's Facebook fighting? And I'm like, that, so I posted that. <laughs> I'll link to that video. <laughs> and that's how it's been, like seriously, yesterday, okay, so there, there was a story, right, yesterday, yeah. that I saw yesterday. I don't know when it came out originally, but it was from the Oconomowoc, Wisconsin Fire Department. And it was posted on my local station in Eau Claire here on WEAU, which the, the Oconomowoc station is probably an NBC station as well. So they're like, a, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Because all the um, all the stations across the country, if you're an NBC station, you're you're an ABC, you're NBC, you're CBS. Well, you know what I mean? Right. And you're all affiliated. See, right. a lot of people forget that fact. You know, it used to be not like that so much. Back in the day, like in the '60s and the '70s, local news was really local. It wasn't global or state. Right. Or, or just mimic from the from every other. Exactly. You know, they all they all exactly. get their news from the same place. They were actually not. They, yes, they were affiliated with the network, be it NBC, CBS, or ABC, but 
but yet they were pretty much independently operated. Right. Right. But now, that's all changed. Oh, yeah. I mean, seriously, I just want to give you guys a chance. I know it's a gruesome subject, but if you go back and just look up news footage from, like, the Vietnam era. Right. News footage from Vietnam back in the 70s. Yeah. And late 60s. They showed it. They were right there. Yeah. They in to, the field, okay? They had to cut but that nowadays, stuff out. nowadays, they don't show that at all. What? I'm sorry, Grim. They, they had to cut that stuff out. They weren't that, that, that the, the, the agenda. It was too traumatic, they said. It was what? Too traumatic for the American people to see that. No, no, no. It was too traumatic for the for the government to see that. <laughs> right. Right. Like, they didn't want the people to see that because then we'd see what was really fucking going on. No independent voices allowed. Right. You know, you yeah. can't be independent. You can't be... It used to, I took a journalism class when I was in high school and when I was in college. Right. And they were still touting the fact that you have to be on, you have to be objective, not subjective. Yeah. You just report on the facts as you see them. You don't insert any, you know, anything else. Yeah. But that's all changed. That's all gone. Oh, yeah. It's all, it's all. Um, Operation Mockingbird across. Unless across. you're an independent journalist and you, you know, yeah, or independent media like us, right? We are that. Anyway, uh, we JJ, are, we JJ, are part of that 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 deal. There, we're we're independent. Yes, we are totally. You know, we're non-commercialized. We're like we're telling it like it is. Yeah, a little NSA. How's yeah, how are y'all doing out there? <laughs> bad, I hope it's going bad for you, motherfuckers. Yeah. Anyway, um, it we was, just try to be informative and entertaining, and we are independent because we don't, we are not mainstream media. No, they anyway. would not allow us on there for a minute. Oh hell no! no. Oh hell no! Anyway, uh, JJ says I think it, the U.S. government is involved, not just China. Well, they not only involved, they are the ones that start that started the whole thing. Yeah. The, the United States government was not only funding the Wuhan bio lab, but they yeah. were also funding. A lab up in Canada where yes. where the virus was actually created. We and talked about this back in January, end of January, February, March, somewhere in there. Yep. Uh, anyway, we, so this has started something. Yeah, 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 at some yeah. point. Yep. So anyway, so the United States, the Department of Defense was funding not just the, the Wuhan bio lab, but a bio lab up in Canada where where they where they refined the virus to make sure it would be transmissible to humans. Yes. Okay. Yes. And then that that stuff was flown over to Wuhan, where the Wuhan people uh, released it into the wild, so it would attack. Yeah. Um, we had it go live. It's, it yeah, went live well, that, there, that's right? where it went live over there. It yep. was definitely not by accident. I mean, it, no, what, what no, I say, it was a planned thing. Yeah. So uh, JJ, you're absolutely right on that. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. This has been. That's why they've called it plandemic. People are calling it plandemic and scamdemic, and that's why they did a test for this thing back in October of 2019 yeah. called Event 201. Yep, exactly. And if you guys don't want to believe that crap, I don't know what to tell you. I but don't either. This shit happened. They did this shit. They, they tested it before it went live, dude. Right. Dude. Uh, yeah. I mean, they, they worked on this thing for years to make they sure. Did. To make sure whatever it was was combined with right. some, something that b could basically not be cured, uh, right. and and that it would be transmissible to humans, very easily transmissible between humans. That is, if it exists at all. And also, <laughs> and that's a big question: if it right. exists at all, exactly, be because it's, it, because we already know they're fudging the numbers. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They're fudging the numbers because if it's a COVID thing, they get money. Okay. Oh, yeah. And so they're you can't trust any of the numbers. You no. can't. I don't. I don't trust any of those goddamn numbers. Hell Fuck no. Their numbers. They're, they're, their numbers are meaningless. Yeah. yeah. And it's like you know, um, oh my god, it's so crazy. It's just fucking bizarre in yeah. a lot of ways. But I don't dwell there because I want to. I know what's going on. You know, yeah, yeah. and I'm sorry, you guys. I don't know how to say it. You know, you know, I've said it so many times, but yeah. you, you, do not 
trust them. Do not don't trust them. Fall, don't fall for this shit. You remember? Yeah, that, I was. Saying, oh, go ahead, Greg. Yeah, you remember uh, from that video, uh, Mother Roger Waters' words: "Don't yeah. fucking way." Right. <laughs> Even Roger Waters says, "Don't fucking trust them. No fucking way." Okay. Yeah. He's a sharp guy. So I don't know. You don't have to believe me. Don't you don't have to believe Grimner? No. That's that's not my goal here is to get you to believe what right, I just, think. Just that's, read, that's not my goal at all. You know, just read their nonsense. And if it makes sense to you, right. I don't know what to tell you. Um, my goal is to get you guys to open your minds and learn the information for your own on your own. You yep, know, I don't yep. don't fucking believe me. God damn it. No, me, I don't want exactly. that. That's not what I'm looking for. I'm not I, looking for that. Me either. All right. We're going to do some that, more music. That, okay. We're going to do some music here. All right, um, let's do that. Now, do you and, remember? Uh, do you remember a few years back now? Uh-huh. Uh huh. There was a gorilla named Harambe. Yes, my okay. son did like a report or something. <laughs> okay. Well, what you may not have known about Harambe is he was a pirate. Oh, really? Yeah. Interesting. This, I this, did not know that. This this tells the story. Okay, interesting. Let's check it out. Back, back. <laughs> oh, boy. That was good stuff there. Uh, John Fogarty and family, the Cosmos Factory, as they call it, doing the city of New Orleans. Yeah, good stuff. Appreciated that. Uh, before that, Pertnier Sandstone, uh, Pertnier, uh, Kings and Clowns there on that yeah, one. Baby. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Uh, baby. And we kicked it off there with... Uh, Rumahoy is the name of the band. Uh, doing Harambe, the pirate gorilla. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Harambe. Harambe. <laughs> All right, man. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, come on. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so I got a question for you, Grimnir, just out of curiosity. All right, fire away. A question came up on Facebook recently. I think it was like a week ago. I don't know. Right. The days run into each other. Anyway, um, the question was, what is your most favorite lyric from a song? My most favorite lyric from a song. Yep. Uh, it's 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 a Jimi Hendrix song called "If Six okay. Was If Six Was Nine. Mm-hmm. Do you know that song? Yes, I okay. do. Yes, you bet. Businessman flashing down the street, pointing his his uh, mass. I forget that word there. The, the pointing his finger at me. I'm the one that's got to die when it's time for me to die. <laughs> wow. I yeah. like that one. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I guess that, that's kind of paraphrased there, but... Uh, right, yeah. yeah. But you get the concept. Well, yeah, those those plastic businessmen type, uh, well, you know, the, yep. if, you don't, if you don't look and act exactly like they do, uh, right. you know, you're... You're, right, you're, you're not you're, you're complying. You're not so, one of them. You're, so, you're going against the, the, the grain. So, so they judge you. Uh, right, they uh, look um, down on you like, oh, well, you're fucking yeah. nothing. So don't be pointing your damn finger at me, man. Uh, exactly. I, I'm the one that's going to die when it's time for me to die. Point your goddamn finger back at yourself, bitch. Right? Yeah, yeah. Well, that's that's what I say. It. That's what I say. You know? it's, it's it's my life. I'm going to die when I when I when, it, when it's when it, it's up to me what I do right. and what I don't do. So suck it. <laughs> of, course, of course, Jimmy's a little more articulate, but uh, right. <laughs> but oh. my my favorite line of all time. I had to pick one on the fly. I'm just like I picked one out. I'm like, okay, I know I love this line, and this is gonna be it. You know, I'm, I mean, obviously, I love many, many lyrics and many, many lines and songs. But mine was, "How the hell can a person go to work in the morning, come home in the evening, have nothing to say?" And it's from Angels of Montgomery by John Prine. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And that, that to me, that just that lyric says so much. You know what I mean? Sure, sure. I mean, yeah. Some like my son will come home from work. I'm like, how was work? I don't know. Like, what? You don't know? Yeah, you do. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I Like, was it sucky? Was it slow? Was it busy? <laughs> I'm like, come on, Matt. Pick an adjective. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me something. Yeah. Don't just give me I don't fucking know. Exactly. Because yeah, you do know. <laughs> you just don't want to tell me. <laughs> just turned his right? brain. It just Am turned I right? His, Am I right? He just arrives at work and turns his brain off. Apparently. Yeah. But it's like, come on now. Yeah. <laughs> give me something. <laughs> 
I'm just kidding. Okay. I give him crap about it because he's just not, you know what I mean? I like, know. it's I... just work. It's just throw him like work to him. You know what I mean? Sure, sure. Nothing, you know, and I get it. Men are very, can be very inarticulate. Yeah, Let's at put times. Put it that way. At times. You know what I'm saying? They can be. Yeah. Some, you know, but if you're in the kind of relationship, I think, that where you have to, like, draw information out of a person, like, obviously you have, you guys' communication isn't working. You know what I mean? Like, you're not uh, see, it's The thing is, the thing is, you know, <laughs> the, 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 the thing is, you just don't understand our grunts. <laughs> well, it's, everyone's different, though, Graham. You can't just, like, pick and hold people. Huh. You know what I mean? Everybody's different, though. Yeah. But, yes, men and women do have certain, like, tendencies. Like w- women talk a lot. <laughs> I've met a lot of men, though, that like to fucking talk, though. So yeah. I that I just don't buy that one. I, I just think that's not a gender that's not a gender thing. I think there's certain people that just like to hear themselves goddamn talk. No, well, and there it, definitely are those. It's not gender specific at all. It's not gender specific. Uh, no, no, it's not. But but I would say on average, if you wanted to take it, women. Well, people I talk like you mean like when you're in a relationship and the woman wants to talk all the time. Is that what you're talking never... about? Or are you talking about like women just like to talk in general? Because there's plenty of men that both, like to yeah. hear themselves fucking talk, dude. You know what I'm saying? Both. I, I mean both. I mean. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah, you know. It's that, right. uh, it's that song. It's not a George Thorogood song, but he does it. You talk too much. <laughs> I, know, I like the yakety 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 yak all yeah. the time. No, I get, but it's not just women that do that. That's no, my I, point. I know, I know. <laughs> just, okay, thank you. All right. <laughs> and what I was going to say though is watch that show. It's so okay, I know it's mainstream media. I know it's on like network and shit, but the show The Goldbergs on uh, ABC. All right. And it has George Went that was like Cliff, not Cliff, the other guy, Norm, Norm. In, in Cheers, right? Norm. <laughs> Norm. <laughs> and it's 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 based on the eighties, right? The nineteen yeah. eighties. Okay. It, it, that is a funny movie. If you want to talk about gender stereotypes and stuff like that, watch that show. All right. Because it's so funny because his his gig on the on the day as the dad of the family, right? Norm, you know. Yeah. George Went. This is the first thing he does when he walks to the door is takes his pants off. <laughs> okay. And he's in his boxers. You know what I mean? All right, all right. And he goes and sits in his chair in the living room and turns the TV on. <laughs> I mean, it's just a funny show. You guys, I mean, even if you just watch one episode, it would be, it's, seriously. Um, but anyway, um, you know, gender stereotypes have been made fun of for, forever. Yeah, it sure. makes for good comedy. It makes for good TV. It makes for good entertainment. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. But you can't go by that to base your relationship on. Like, I would suggest not basing your relationship on anything that you've learned on TV or in Hollywood. Sure. <laughs> you know, so, you got to so base what, it on your heart. you got to so, base it on your feelings, your heart. Don't Don't think that there's the right or wrong way to... Be with somebody. So, you know what so, so what you're saying is uh, Archie Bunker and uh, Al Bundy and uh, yep. uh, the dad from '70s Show. Yes, that was just <laughs> Al Bundy. What? Al Bundy is the dad from '70s Show. No, no, Al, Al <laughs> oh, Bundy. No, red, red, red. Yeah, red. Al, Al Bundy's uh, yeah. married with children. Right, oh, Matt, I'm married. You're right, I got those mixed up. Yeah, you're yeah. right, Grim. Yeah, so those. All kinda, those are just stereotypes. They're just basically grunting men. <laughs> yeah, and, and they're meant to portray that that's how men are supposed to be, right? It's like, yeah. no, that's not how men are supposed to fucking be. You know, that's not being real. That's not ha- I mean, like, poor Kitty in that 70s show, she, which she's one of my favorite characters, the mom. She's freaking awesome. I love the mom in that 70s show. Oh, Kitty, nice, she nice. Them, she'll real. Like, put them in this place. It's like, it's about the time, lady. You know? Real nice, Rome's. Oh. <laughs> yeah. It, 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 yeah. See, that's not a stereotype you should try to be like. You know, so this is how TV programs us. Don't you see? Oh, that's like, great. Okay, men are supposed to be assholes. Really? Is that how you want to be? You want to be a fucking asshole? Really? Do you? 
Do you want to be an asshole? Man, no, 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 they just want to be a pushover? They just want to be a pushover? Be like Edith Bunker? No, you want to be like that? They no. just they just want to be left alone, basically. Well, then don't get married then. That, exactly. <laughs> hey, well, I, I'm i all for that. You be fucking alone. I'm all for that. All right. Don't be like, oh, go all through the motions. Oh, I'm just going to get married because that's what I'm supposed to do. And then not even mean it and just be a whole dud like Archie Bunker. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> and then have all eat us like doing shit for you. Stifle you like, dingbat. Fuck that. that shit. <laughs> oh, God. All right. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> so if I, if I ever got, uh, for whatever reason, somehow locked into a hospital, thrown into a hospital. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, and, that'd be bad. That'd and, be bad. And, and, and I had to have a nurse. Yeah. Yeah. I'd take this one. <laughs> I'd take this one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> on, the, on, the, on, on the New York Times. Okay. <laughs> Hot nurse disciplined. For wearing Ooh. bra and panties under see-through PPE gown. Oh no! But <laughs> that is probably against their regs, though. Dude. Well, I no, probably, I, I probably, no, I don't know. Yeah. This, 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 this happened in Russia. The lady is psycho. She's got a fucking screw loose. I'm just saying. This, this, this happened in Russia. Um, oh uh, well, definitely then. A, a nurse in a hospital in Tula, Russia wore nothing but underwear beneath her see-through protective suit, gloves, and goggles while working at the COVID-19 ward. That naughty nurse is going viral. Let's hope she's not getting any viruses. Anyway, the, the, nurse, in <laughs> Russia, the nurse in Russia was suspended from the hospital where she worked in Tula, 100 miles, south, sure. 100 miles right. south of Moscow, after she arrived at her shift in the all-male coronavirus patient wing, with no clothing, <laughs> with no no clothing save for her skivvies under her transparent protectable. Uh, and he, pers- she pers- was trying to make him happy. She yeah, was like, like you know, raise spirits and everything. Yeah, raise lots of things. I mean, come on, you know. Yeah. <laughs> 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 the the uh, the unidentified staffer told her as managers at Tula Regional Clinical Hospital that she was too hot to wear clothing. Too hot to handle. To to wear clothing underneath her head to toe from vinyl gown, which protected her from like, con- thank you. Protected I was too her. hot. That's awesome. Why too hot. Right? Yeah. The incident <laughs> the incident was first reported by a local out news outlet in Tula, uh, where where while there was re- reportedly. <laughs> No complaints from her patients. Duh. Sure not. Yeah, thank. Just, All right. <laughs> hospital. Gonna, you know, hospital chiefs punished the. <laughs> hospital chiefs punished the nearly nude nurse for non. Oh, Why now? Why you gotta go do that? No. For for She's non-compliance with requirements. It's just a human body, my God. Non-compliance. Oh, oh yeah, oh. Uh, I told you. Yeah, that. yeah, yeah, yeah. Non-compliance. Uh, the, the, nurse, the nurse claimed <laughs> she claimed she did not realize that her underwear was showing through the PPE. Oh no! Oh, she didn't know that. Oh, you don't like my underwear? Fine, I'll take it off. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> However, the regional health ministry confirmed that a disciplinary sanction was applied to the nurse of the infectious diseases department who violated the uniform requirements. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, she violated them already. Yeah, the the hospital administration <laughs> originally claimed the woman in her twenties had begun began oh, wearing wow. began <laughs> wearing a lingerie, but later clarified cool. the two piece ensemble was possibly a swimming suit. So Okay. A swimming suit? Come on now. That's not lingerie. <laughs> it's not. And I I, I gotta say, guys, you go know, ahead. Help people. It was an all male award. Yeah, you know, guys, go ahead and pull up, pull up that link and take a look at her. I mean, oh, you can't yeah. really you can't see her face, but uh, other than her eyes yeah, there, but uh, you can see. Yeah, she's um she's fine. Not. She's a fine looking like, nurse there. Not. And you look can at see the guy. Look at the guy behind. The old the old guy. <laughs> hey, what's where's the, the where's the, the, where are your hands? Where are your like, hands, he, buddy? Where are your hands? He's got his hands down there in his lap. He's taking care of business. 
that's a funny picture. Oh my God. <laughs> All right, this is the, I guess the, uh, the... This is a fake thing. I think it's... it's I don't know. New York Post, you I don't, know I, it's the well, New York... It's not a so I don't, I don't know. How do we, like, we can't confirm it, but... It could be just a fucking ploy. It could be, like, Babylon B in Russia, you know what I mean? Yeah, it could be. You know what I'm saying? I mean, not... Who's to say they don't have... Like, the U.S. is the only... Was that the only country of satire sites? I gotta believe that. You know what I'm saying? All oh, right, yeah. I mean, you know, because well, that picture is just too fucking perfect, dude. <laughs> it is, isn't it? <laughs> it's just too. It's like, yeah, I, oh, I don't know about. God. I don't know. About, I question this one. This all thing. right, all right. Well, you question away. Um, anyway, so I, I hesitated to, to do this next story, uh, okay. although I, I could have gotten it from a bunch of other sites after I originally got this one. So why did but you this, question it? Because it's on Fox News. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> other than that, this story, I, I mean, I could have picked it up from Activist Post or Zero Hedge, but I'd already had the one in my in my reading list before all those right. other people got to it. So here it is. And shocker of all shockers, CDC now says coronavirus does not spread easily via contaminated surfaces. Now I, saw that. I, I think we all we we mentioned this time and time again coming time up. Again. Um, so whatever. So those of you still wiping down groceries and other packages amid ongoing right. Corona pandemic, yeah. breathe a sigh of relief. The lying yeah. bastards at the CDC uh, now says novel coronavirus does not spread easily from touching surfaces or objects, but experts warn. Oh no, experts warn oh, this 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 doesn't mean it's no longer necessary to take practical and realistic precautions. Yeah, it does. Um <laughs> anyway. So I I don't really want to cover the story. I, I think we all know the C D C is a lying sack of crap and um, uh, the yeah. no, all the numbers are made up. All the stuff they tell you to do one day, they'll they'll tell you not to do the next day. Right. And then, Crazy. Wear a mask. Don't wear a mask. Wear a mask. Don't wear a mask. Wear right. A mask. All kinds of stuff. Mask. This yeah. this stupid six feet bullshit, man. Yeah. It comes out of nothing. Don't it comes. It, don't talk to people. It's it comes from nowhere. I mean, it first they so said, good, yeah, this, yeah, this stuff can be be there in the air for four days. Or whatever. Yeah, and then they said, your shoes. Oh my God. And then Don't they wear said, your shoes in the house. Oh my God. Uh, Clean everything every day. Disinfect things every twice a day. Fucking pa parent, the paranoia. Like, Graham, I seriously was thinking about this the other day, like a couple of days ago. I'm like, the paranoia. Oh man, I'm telling you, it's good no, here. It's, it's the, old. The, it's off the charts. The, 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 they're, they're breeding a, a generation of germaphobes. They are. And tattletales. And tattletales, of course. People are standing closer to the six feet apart. It's like, really? <laughs> yeah. Come on, people. All right, you so here. Uh, so, so if you're still freaking out about stuff, try this one on, on spectator.us. Okay. Stanford study suggests, as we all know, Coronavirus, coronavirus might not be as deadly as the flu. Really? Jeez, yes, yeah, thank. Oh, I can't imagine that. I all, can't, wow, wow, all, wow. All their estimates for IFR are markedly lower than the figures thrown about for the last couple of months. Ugh. This is one one of the greatest unknowns of Corona is just how exactly how deadly it is. Uh, much of the panic dates from the moment in early March when the WHO lion scumbags published a mortality rate of 3.2%, which turned out to be a crude case fatality rate, dividing the number of deaths by the number of recorded cases, ignoring the large number of cases, cases which are asymptomatic or otherwise go unrecorded and undetected. The Imperial College modeling, which has been so influential on the UK government, assumed an infection fatality rate of 0.9%. 
This was used to compute the infamous prediction that 250,000 Britons would die unless the government abandoned its mitigation strategy and adopted... Fear porn was off charts. So uh, abandon the mitigation strategy and adopt instead a policy of suppressing the virus through lockdowns. So this super flawed study is what they used to to generate the lockdown over there. We had our own uh, terrible studies over here to generate a lockdown. But that, and and, and it's still going on. And they know these numbers are false and bad. Yep, they Um, do. They so, know they're falsifying the numbers. Don't fool yourself. All right. So anyway. And, and the, and the one thing I wanted to say earlier, Grim, is in 2017, Fauci said, Dr. Fauci. Yes. Said there will be a, the next president will deal with a pandemic. Or it was, maybe it was Trump will deal with a pandemic during his presidency. That was back in 2017. Right. So was he in office then? How yeah, yeah. His, he, he got in office. Uh, he, he, yeah, yeah, he was he was inaugurated okay. in January of 2016. Right, and they did that test, the event 201, in October of 2019. Yeah. So you need you guys don't believe me. I don't. That's not why. I'm, like I said earlier, I'm not looking for that. I'm looking for you guys to do your own research and hopefully you'll see the light and see what this is all about. If you still have some of the blinders on or whatever, and you're still clinging to the hope that. They're not lying to you, you know. They they care about you. Right. Um, you got to get past that. You should, or you're gonna be, you're gonna go along with their program, and you're gonna be happy with the outcome. Yeah. Oh, uh, you, do you really need to be told what to do? I mean, are you an adult? Do you think for yourself? Do you need a babysitter? Yeah. Do you need someone to tell you where to stand? Oh yeah. We're absolutely. not stand. Yeah, go sit in your circle. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't, I go, don't need that. Go sit okay? in your circle in the park, and and right. shut up. Obey, <laughs> obey, obey. Like that movie, they live. One of the main words in that movie is the word obey. Anyway, just just look at those two articles right there. Um, uh, there there's that. Um, okay, so so they're working on a uh, some vaccines. Various people working yeah. on vaccines. So uh, Oxford over there in the UK. Uh, they 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 created a, a a vaccine they think is good uh, for the corona, and so now apparently uh, maybe not so good. Doubts raised over Oxford coronavirus vaccine after all of the monkeys that have took part in the trial are found to have contracted the disease. So they came up with a vaccine, gave it to a bunch of monkeys. All the monkeys got the COVID nineteen. <laughs> they, there were also warnings that, uh, that they may have been able to spread the virus to monkeys. Uh, Oxford University vaccine has already been steamrolled into human trials. So it don't matter if it works or not. We're going to go ahead through human trials. A professor from Imperial, the one that we just talked about in the previous article, uh, uh, that... Um, <laughs> <laughs> that was useless, uh, but they said their their vaccine's unlikely to be ready before the beginning of next year, uh, or maybe the middle of next year. So uh, it's all nonsense. It's all bullshit. Uh, they they don't have a vaccine. They don't really have a test. Uh, they don't even know if there's really a freaking disease. Um, uh, yeah, and, and, and it's all it's all nonsense from from beginning to end. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, well, country and western music may well cause cancer in rats. Um. <laughs> oh my god! What the fuck ever, dude? You don't even, he doesn't even know what it is. See, he's he's talking from he's he's speaking at you from an ignorant standpoint. No, no, no. It's from it's, it's, from, it's, 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 it's from a conversation. Who the hell is Vaughn? No, it's the dude it's, is out of touch with the reality. Dude. It's it's from a conversation we had earlier in the week. Um, oh, okay. I I saw that conversation, oh, and okay. I'm talking about that conversation as well. Okay. Well, we're we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna play a little country and western for you. motherfucker. We're gonna we're gonna play a little country. <laughs> we're, we're gonna do a little country and western for you right now, right here. All right. Let's Live. Hey, are you listening, Jade Red? Are you truly listening? I think he is listening. Yeah. yeah. I hope you are. Okay. <laughs> Enjoy, everyone. <laughs> you know who you know who Barney Robbins was. 
Yes, I do. Okay, you so you know, know he, you, you know he wrote a song called El Paso, right? Yes, and the Grateful Dead have covered that many times. All right, well, this is a... Many other musicians covered that song. Uh, this this is a modified version. Yeah, okay, it's, awesome. It's oh, called... Corona version. It, no, 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 no. Oh, okay, well, oh, good. <laughs> it's a, a Star Wars version. It, it's, oh. it, it's called El Mando. All right. Yeah. Uh-huh, uh-huh. They all live in your own private Idaho. That means you have to do there. That was a Beatle request. Beatle! Beatle! <laughs> Before that was Power Wolf, sanctified with dynamite. Uh, live version there. Very nice. Very nice. I love Power Wolf. Uh, and we kicked it off with uh, the Funk Turkey uh, doing El Mando. Uh, a uh, Star Wars version of of uh, Marty Robbins, not Tony Robbins, Marty Robbins, right. <laughs> El Paso. <laughs> yeah, Tony <laughs> Robbins. Tony Robbins, a whole different guy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't think I want to hear him sing. Uh, <laughs> no, hell no. <laughs> I don't want to hear him do anything. Oh God! Oh, he's funny. Uh, I, I mean, I don't. Yeah, know if he, he's I, I, don't I don't know if he is intentionally funny or he's. Yeah. Right. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> that was a good job. That own my own private. I I just love that song. That song's like timeless to me. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, the B52s were a damn good band. Oh shit, yeah. No they question. were good, dude. Especially for that era of time that they were in, you know. Right. I just love that music. I I just still love it so much. You know, it's yeah. awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, I get it. Yeah. Anyway, um, I don't know if you guys have heard about this woman, which I just found out about today. But a 96-year-old Navajo woman becomes an internet hit. This is on IndianCountryToday.com, and it's dated May 20th, 2020. Annette... Bill Gotti, and I'm not sure if I'm saying that correctly or not, but anyway, had sold her beadwork, her beadwork online with help from her granddaughter. She can barely keep up the demand. When she was growing up in the 1930s in the Navajo Nation, her job and her family was to repair broken necklaces. This was her first introduction to beading. She was born and raised in Preston, Mesa, Arizona, near the Colorado border. Uh-huh. In her adult years, she was a weaver. She could weave rugs. That's how she made a living. Anyway, let me fast forward here and see what's going on. Anyway, apparently, you know, this woman's an internet hit, which this is, I'm just, like I said, I'm just learning about her. So I'm just going to post the link. You guys can look it up if you want. All right. Excuse me. And um, 96 years old. Great. You got to, you know. Yeah, yeah. Give cool. her props, dude. I mean, Grim, I know you don't want to live till you're 96, but. <laughs> no, but I'm not a, I'm not a uh, Navajo woman, so. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Funny. Okay. Uh, anyway, I just, I just point that out. It's just, oh, I'm that's great. Like, that's great. Good that's stories that... and, or something that's like. Be, not COVID. Yeah, no, that's great. Well, that might be kind of COVID, but you know, it's like, yeah, not directly. So, all right, all right, well, we got to jump right into our last set here. Uh, all right, so Do that. Uh, enjoy this, folks, and uh, we'll be back after we're done with the set break. Yep. Hua. <laughs> Very tribal version of Black Betty there. Nick Cave in the Bad Seeds. Yeah, that's uh, that's some interesting stuff. Uh, anyway, before that, we had Ivy Lavon doing Hot Damn. And we kicked it off there with Mike Gamble of the Heartbreakers, Tom Betty and Heartbreakers, uh, doing a song called Lockdown. Good stuff, good stuff. All righty, yeah. folks. Yeah, man. Tell you, some great music we played here tonight. We did. I know, I know. Yeah. We usually do. We usually do. 
<laughs> anyway, we're done here. Um, tomorrow will be the uh, dark table at 2 p.m. Eastern time. I'll be on Sunday at my normal time about a quarter to noon uh, on the East Coast and followed up by Hal Anthony. Uh, behind the woodshed, opening up a big old can of whoop-ass. Check, right. ske- check out the schedule there on RealLibertyMedia.com for all the rest of the shows that come up throughout the week here on RLM Radio. Uh, I think that's it. You got anything? Uh, no, I'm not really. No. Okay. <laughs> Just keep on hanging on, people. Keep on trucking. You know? Absolutely, absolutely. Be well, be safe, not be safe. I mean, do your normal thing. Be do your you. thing. Do your thing. Be you. <laughs> All right, peace. Yep. Peace.